Bluetooth in a car is a great idea. Right. Well, 350 million cars, 1 billion devices exposed to a one-click Bluetooth remote code execution. Mercedes, Skoda, Volkswagen. It's Volkswagen, not Volkswagen. And an untold number of industrial, medical, mobile and consumer devices may be vulnerable to an attack chain called Perfect Blue. It's a one-click RCE attack once again, only one click to gain access to the vehicle. In other words, you have to accept the pairing, but some vehicle manufacturers allow that by default. So attackers can use Bluetooth to potentially attack your car and take control of it, as well as many other devices. Here's a Mercedes entertainment system with a reverse shell. Basically with a reverse shell, you get the car to access your system over TCP IP, in other words, the protocol used on the internet, and you control the vehicle. In this example, we're using Netcat, and basically we get control of the vehicle from this computer. Notice here, we have got Linux on the Mercedes. Here we see a different version of Linux on the Volkswagen. Volkswagen. And on Skoda, we can see Linux Skoda infotainment system over here. The security researchers found that with remote code execution on the in-vehicle infotainment system, a hacker could track GPS coordinates, eavesdrop on conversations in the car, access phone contacts, and potentially move laterally to more critical subsystems in the vehicle. In other words, potentially they could get access to the braking system and other systems on the car. That's not there by default. They don't have access to that immediately. They have to do more work to gain access to those systems because they're separate from the infotainment system. Now, to protect yourself against this perfect blue attack, you need to update your system or disable Bluetooth functionality entirely on your car. Aside from just cars, however, this Bluetooth SDK touches more than 1 billion embedded devices around the globe, including consumer mobile, industrial, and medical industries. Now, the security team told Dark Reading that the pairing depends on the car. In the case of Mercedes-Benz, it's true, you have to do a whole bunch of stuff for pairing. However, on other cars, the attacker can initiate the pairing process remotely. That doesn't require a user to put the infotainment system in pairing mode. Once an attacker plants remote access malware, it enables them to persist the network connection from any distance. So they're basically using TCP IP to remotely control the car from anywhere. One major hurdle in actually exploiting these vulnerabilities is physical proximity. An attacker would likely have to position themselves within 10 meters of a target device in order to pair it, and the device would have to comply. Because the blue SDK is merely a framework, different devices might block pairing, limit the number of pairing requests an attacker could attempt, or at least require a click to accept the pairing. This is a point of contention between the researchers and, for instance, Volkswagen, Volkswagen, who told Bleeping Computer that you need very specific conditions to launch this attack. So as an example, the ignition needs to be switched on. The device needs to be in pairing mode. The vehicle must actively approve the external Bluetooth access of the attacker on the screen, and the attacker must remain within five to seven meters in order to maintain access to the vehicle However, the researchers clarify that this is not accurate. In modern cars, the infotainment system can be turned on without activating the ignition. So as an example, on the Volkswagen ID4, Volkswagen, get it right! And the Skoda Superb, this is not necessary, but it does vary from vehicle to vehicle. While initial access requires close physical proximity, an attacker could use Perfect Blue to plant remote access malware enabling them to persist their attack over a network connection from anywhere in the world. Even the pairing is not cut and dry. It depends on the car. In the case of Mercedes-Benz, it's true. However, for the Volkswagen, Volkswagen and Skoda, the attacker can initiate the pairing process remotely. That doesn't require a user to put the infotainment system in pairing mode. Very worrying that.